Previously on King in It. After ignoring my dad's advice, we decided to bid on a bus on eBay and we won it. In this mini-series, we'll be showing you what it's like as two complete novices to renovate a bus from start to finish. We'd just like to reiterate that. We are clueless. Her name is Custard. Custard. And she's a big yellow custard bus. So soon she'll be our home. The best home. And we can go anywhere in her because she's yellow. Like custard. Custard. We removed all of the seats, replaced the rotten wheel arches and gave her a good lick of paint. And now it's time to get to work on her interior. As we are clueless, we decided to call our mate Rob, who's got the fastest hands in the south. Rob was about to build the layout that we had been dreaming of for years. Within an hour, Rob had already built the frame for our bed. Once the bed was in, the next task was to screw in the new floor in. To do this, we made sure we marked out the lines where the steel frame was, so that when we laid the battens for the interior, we could screw them into the frame instead of just the floor, to make it extra safe and extra sturdy. Does that make sense? As you can tell, today's a big day for Custard. She's getting a bed, she's getting a kitchen, she's getting some insulation. Let's do this. Then we laid out some 25mm battens with 25mm foam board to insulate the floor. Look at that rock solid walkway lads! Even our new mate Gary the electrician stopped by to give us a hand with the insulation. And a quote. A little bit high. We're getting there. The insulation on the floor is basically done. Now I'm just stuffing the walls. So I'm stuffing it up in these little bits in the, all the nooks and crannies. Rob smashed today. We had the electrician up and hopefully he's going to come Saturday. We might just perform this miracle, you never know. Everyone keeps saying, oh, good luck with that, you're never gonna do it in three weeks. Watch, watch us do it. Next on the list is insulation tape. Stick it down, innit? We wanted to create a nice vapor barrier, so we used this tape to create a seal on the floor. Looking good, she's looking like a spaceship. Oh, I thought you were on about me then. Look who's turned up. Will you not? Will you stop? Eh? Hey? I've been here all day. Bang on the tape, haven't you? Quarter past eight I woke up today. I never see that time in the morning, ever. The next morning we cracked on with the trickier bit of the floor to finish off the insulation. Once that was done, we lined the walls with some more cosy stuff and started screwing in the panels. Now that we had the walls all cosy, it was time to cover the floor with another layer of 9mm plywood. And as if we didn't already have enough to do, Craig had to study for his theory test for his HGV licence. If you're wondering what's going on and why I'm taking a test, I've already got a full UK licence, but because Custard is such a big portion, she's 7.5 tonnes, I had to get an extra licence so I can drive her legally. Um, she's too big for me and it's about £800 to go and I would fail. So I'm going to leave this one up to Craig. Because we've been at the bus 12 hours a day, he only managed around an hour or two revision the night before. And today, he was about to sit his theory and hazard perception test. Today is my theory test for my C1 licence. Passed. Piece of piss. After the win, I came back and Rob had already whipped up a small sofa and a pull-out double sofa. What a wizard. Rob had also made the top frame for the bed as we wanted it to lift up to use the underneath as storage. As me and Rob put together the first unit for the kitchen, Amy called us up and said that she'd already bought kitchen units from Ikea and spent all of our money. Fuzzy. But it is lush though. The other feature that we wanted in the bus was to have a pull-out table between the sofas. As Rob started on the table, I started on the first piece of art in custard. A brand spanking new floor. I'm going to put the laminate flooring down. We're going to build a bed, hopefully, and build a structure for the bathroom. But time's ticking. We've literally got two weeks and four days. So I think we might have to postpone the start of this trip because it's going to be difficult, isn't it? So I'll we'll give it a go. So today I'm on the laminate. So Helen and Amy are going to put together the kitchen. We're going to put the worktop in, and then we've got a sink as well. It's all taking shape, lads. Go on. So 
So after a really hard day slog, you won't believe what the bus looks like. Look at this. Now I can actually finally see the shape of what we're working with. So the sink is in. Look at this bad boy. It looks so cool. Proper sunk into the cabinet like that. Ooh. Rob's just done a superb job. So we've got this sofa here which pulls out, turns into a bed. So that comes all the way out. And we've got a little chair by there. And there's the bed. There's no mattress yet. And this is going to be where our cooker will be. So we've got an oven going in there, gas top there, and then a little work surface. And then this is our lonely toilet on its own. It's going to be the bathroom. So this whole section here. How good is that? Oh, also, I had to take the roof out because we need to get rid of the rust and stuff. But next time on The Adventures of Custard. <laughs> Today. We're getting some electric. So this guy is the best guy. <laughs> He's like done mostly everything for us. And there was a last minute cancellation on a bus driving test. 